guys is Hope from the Rhinestone World, and today I'm going to show you how to use our Caesar Easy Weed Stretch Heat Transfer Vinyl, as well as Brick Vinyl, to customize this awesome looking dog collar. Okay, so this is our Caesar Brick Heat Transfer Vinyl. It's a lot more thick than other vinyls. We use it a lot on backpacks and hats. Today we're going to use it on a dog collar. It looks really cool because it almost gives a 3D effect to whatever you heat it onto. It is a little bit harder to cut though. We're going to use a cut setting of 19, a double cut, and our 60 degree blade on our Graph Tech cutter. So we're going to go ahead and load it up. Now we want to be super careful when we're cutting brick vinyl. It is really thick so we don't want to do anything that is too intricate. It's for a lot more simple, really bold designs. So I'm going to load this. And I'll go ahead and cut it. Okay, so now that I have my brick vinyl all cut out, I'm going to go ahead and weed it. Now, I know that my weeding is going to be nice and easy because I have a nice smooth line. Sometimes with more thick vinyls, if you cut it really fast, it's going to pick up some of the vinyl as it cuts. No matter how good your cutter is, it's just going to do that if you cut it fast. So what I did was I slowed down the speed from 55 centimeters a second all the way down to 19. And again, it gave us a nice good cut. So now I can go ahead and weed it. All right, perfect. So we're all done weeding, as you can see on both sides, and we're ready to press. Now the brick vinyl is going to give you a cloudier appearance on the carrier paper side. It's just a more thick, uh, less see-through carrier paper. So don't be worried if you see that your design looks a little bit blurry on one side of it. It's totally okay, and it's going to look great once we press it. Okay, so our final step is going to be to go ahead and press our heat transfer vinyl on here. So I've marked the center line of our dog collar with just some pen. It's, it's okay to do that because we know it's going to be covered up with the vinyl at the end of the day. So that's going to make it really easy for us to line it up. We want to make sure that all of our thick parts of the collar are hanging off the press. We don't want to press those or get those in here at all. So we're going to do one quick press. Lift it up. All right, now we're ready to go. So what I've done is I have cut a white stretch easy weed border for the outside of this brick. So the brick is actually going to sit on some stretch easy weed on this collar. So we're going to line up the center piece here. We're just going to do a quick three to five second press on this one. Lift it up. And now we're ready to press our brick. Now brick is a much more thick vinyl than everything else that we have. So we really want to make sure that we have good pressure and good heat when we do this press. If not, it's just not going to stay. So I have this all lined up. We're going to drop our press and we're going to hold it 10 to 15 seconds. Once that's all done, let that press pop up and we'll peel off our transfer paper. All right guys, so we're all done here. As you can see, this brick vinyl is going to give us a nice 3D look on this dog collar and it's really going to stand out. If you guys have any questions about this process or any of our vinyl, feel free to call us at 941-755-1696 or check us out at therhinestoneworld.com. Have a good one.